Welcome back to MedZone African Motives. We are still on our industrial electronics entry. And this is the applications of the diodes. That is the diodes and the application. Remember, we actually had this part from our N2. Uh, if you are to consider N2, where you are considering actually from your N1, N2, considering the half wave and the full wave rectification. That is the part that we're referring to as the applications of the diode. So you're going to have a continuation. The first part to consider this diode as a clipper. What is it that you consider a diode as a clipper? All right. So clippers are also known as limiters. That is the purpose of a clipper is to cut off. That is to clip off all voltage whose value is above or below the predetermined value. That is as long as it is above that value or below that is going to remove to cut off. The output of the clipping circuits appears as a portion of the input signal was clipped of the one that was removed. That is, clipping circuits are sometimes used to change the shape of a waveform or for protection against voltage and current uh, spikes. That is, a clipper essentially consists of a resistor and a diode. That's it. That's, that's a clipper. So you've got different types, which is the first one. Uh, you're going to consider the series clipper where we are seeing that the diode and the resistor are connected in series. So this one is considered as a negative clipper. All right. So considering the applications of our diode, remember, we have got the anode. And we also have the cathode on a, on a diode. So remember your anode and also the cathode. So being connected to the cathode, that is the one that you consider as a negative clipper. Okay. So remember, we, we had these properties from a normal uh, diode. So if you are to consider the input, which is our VN, this is the input. So remember that a, a, a diode that is operating in one way, okay, because we, we talked about that, uh, that if you connect uh, it in a proper way, which is a forward bias, we are going to have the current flowing in one direction. In another way, it is an insulate, it, it is acting as an insulator. So meaning to say, considering this cycle, we are going to have a conduction. In the negative, there is nothing. We are going to have a conduction. In the negative, there is nothing. So this piece is the one that you are going to clip off to remove off. That is the idea. So considering a negative series clipper, we are saying the diode D1 is connected in series with the resistor R1 during the positive half cycle of the input signal dead. D1 is forward biased, which allows the current to flow through the resistor R1 for nearly the whole of the positive half of the input cycle, which is this one that I was going to say is a conduction. Thus, a voltage corresponding to the input minus the voltage across D1 appears across, across R1, which is V1 minus 0 0.6 for the diode, a silicon. Remember, considering a silicon, going to consider uh, 0 0.6 volts. But during the negative half cycle, now the input to that is now reverse biased, no current flows. Remember the concept of a diode. 
Therefore, the output voltage for this half cycle will be zero. There's nothing that we are having there. So it goes back to the positive. We are back again, the same properties that happened, a conduction. So you're going to have uh, V in minus 0, 0.6. That's a negative series clipper. Clips off a negative portion of the input signal and passes the positive portion to the output, which is now V out, given as V in minus 0, 0.6. That is the idea of a negative series. So when it is a positive series, we are going to have this time, the connection to the anode, the resistor, is now connected to the anode. So in this case, if you are to input, the input in this case, this is your input, meaning to say it is reverse bias, there's no conduction. There's no conduction. So this is the one. The diode D1 is once again in series with the output, but turned around as shown in this fig. During the positive half cycle, the input cycle D1 is reverse biased. So meaning to say now there's no conduction, no current flows. So we are going to have this part is no longer there. We are supposed to have something here, which is no longer there. Remember, we are supposed to have uh, the output here. But we no longer have, that will be a zero. That will be a zero. No current flows, therefore no voltage is dropped across R1. That is at that point, V out is equal to zero volts for this half cycle. But during a negative, as we consider this negative cycle, this conduction. Okay? So during a negative half cycle, D1 is now forward by so current flows and the voltage. We are now back to that voltage that we obtained, which will be negative V in minus 0, 0,6. So that's a positive series clipper clips off the positive portion, the part that we had in the port, we were supposed to have something in the port, but it's no longer there. That is one that is being clipped off because there is no conduction at that moment. So this output is only where there is conduction, where the diode is being forward biased, when the current is flowing. That is how you can simply uh, consider uh, this part of your uh, of the clipper, which is the forward. So considering this, a positive series clipper, then uh, remember it was series. We also have the same condition of the negative and the positive, but this time as parallel. So these clippers are also referred to as shunt clippers. Hence, the diode is connected in the parallel across to the output. So the diode is connected in parallel, parallel across the output. Must be parallel. Remember the, the parallel connection. So given that you consider this negative parallel clipper, so that will be the connection of a negative shunt Clipper. Remember what you're given, positive, negative, positive. These are the cycle, the positive half cycle, negative half cycle, and so on. So during the positive half cycle, during this positive half cycle, what is going to happen? Remember your anode, your cathode. The positive there, it means the, the diode is now reverse biased. So when the positive half cycle of the input signal is applied, the diode D1 is reverse bias. For this half cycle, no current, just like what we saw, guys, any reverse bias, there is no current, meaning to say it is going to affect uh, in terms of the output. But this is a parallel connection, guys. Remember that. So for this half cycle, no current will flow through D1. 
across this diode D1. There is no current that is going to flow. So meaning to say all the current is concentrated on the resistor. All the current is concentrated on the, on the resistor. No current is going to flow through here. So meaning to say the output voltage is then equal to the input at that moment. V out will be equal to V in because what we have, the guys, the, 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 there is no current here. So what we have at the input is going to, so that is what we are seeing here on this part. This is for the positive half cycle. But during a negative half cycle, the delta D1 is forward biased this time. Meaning to say the current can flow. There's current now. So thus only the forward bias voltage across D1 will appear as the output. In this case, only the diode voltage. But since it is in the negative, so it is going to be V out is equal to minus 0 0,6. So the total voltage at the end, because remember we said there is a minus 0, 0,6 of the diode, okay? But originally here, there's a V in, the V out was equal to V in. So at the end, the difference is going to be the V out. So at the end, V out will be V in minus 0, 0,6. So guys, this is what you're going to have, even if it is a positive parallel clipper in another way. So I want us to go through applications and everything. So if you're given this, just try to analyze your diagrams and see uh, what you're given on the waveforms of these clippers. Uh, just try to go through each and every part, understand uh, everything that you're given. Then also the other application is to have the diodes is a voltage doubler. as a voltage doubler so from the word from the, uh, the from the name is a voltage doubler to double the voltage is to be doubled so how is this possible to double the voltage so we have got uh, the half wave voltage doubler so we want to see how this is going to double the voltages that we are given. So according to the diagram that we are given, the first part, it's a half-wave voltage doubler circuit. Then B is the positive half-cycle operation. And C, the negative half-cycle operation, what is happening on this half-wave. OK. So considering our input, remember, we are considering a half wave. So let's consider to say we are on the positive half cycle as the input. What is going to happen? So during the positive half cycle, you input your voltage. This is the connection of the diode D1. As we can see, D1, uh, that is our anode cathode, D1 is going to be forward biased. So that is uh, the illustration that we are seeing on Fig 4.5, uh, which is uh, for a half wave. So I want us to get to where the B is here. Uh, all right, here. During the positive half cycle, as shown in Fig 4.5B, the terminal. A is positive as B is negative. Diode D1 is forward biased. So this is what I'm explaining that this diode is going to be forward biased. But at that moment, D2 is reverse biased and conducts. Charging capacitor C1. So we are given to the peak voltage Vm with the polarity as shown in Fig 4.5a. So meaning to say, 
this is going to charge up this capacitor. But during the negative half cycle now, as shown in this fig, this one now, that is a negative half cycle operation. So this is now in the negative. Remember the anode cathode concept. So what is going to happen with D1? It is now reverse bias. Because you are considering this negative cycle as the operation so that D1 is now reverse biased. So that is the one that you are given. During the negative half cycle as shown in Fig uh, 4.5C, terminal B, uh, according to the diagram, we are going to have D2 is forward biased, where D1 is reverse biased. So D2 is the one that is forward biased now not D1, and conducts charging the capacitor C2. So it will charge the capacitor C2. So that is the condition that is happening between these two. Okay, guys, I just hope this is not going to affect us. You know, this software, sorry for that. <laughs> 